What's going on YouTube? Gravesender here and welcome back to episode 32 of season 3. So I haven't really done much in between episodes as you guys saw I released an episode on Wednesday. I didn't think I would have time to record one this uh, this weekend but I found a little bit of time so here we are. Today's Saturday I think if I finish everything up today, Saturday. I'll be releasing it for you guys this evening, this afternoon. It's currently like 10 a.m. But um, let's go ahead and get on with it. So what I thought in, in this episode we would do is kind of try and fill in some uh, some gaps, right? So we have this gap right here that we have done absolutely nothing with. We have this gap right here that we kind of sort of started. And I just now finished up the, uh, the little bit of gridding here at a... A high school and an elementary school right there uh, and that's uh and that's really that oh and by the way I had a little bit of commercial over here to see kind of how it fills in and go um go from there another new thing is a pathway coming across through here kind of wrapping around the commercial outskirts there and the uh, the, the river front a uh, little bit of trees and foliage over here, and uh, that's really a total. Took me like 15 minutes to uh, to get all of that done. But we are sitting at 14.6 million. We have 26,000 coming in per week, 84,000 and a half, 84 and a half thousand population. We're losing a little bit um, due to, I believe, a little bit of a death wave that we're having. And see, I forgot to add water. To these nice folks right over here that are looking to move in but overall we are doing very good on everything the money's coming in um, the the demand is low for all residential commercial as well as jobs so we're just kind of sort of adjusting to all the new changes the the forestry, the uh, the farming, everything put together, and uh, we'll let the city tell us what uh, what it wants next. Oh, and by the way, the other gap I want to fill is this one right here. But that's uh, that's that. So let's let's go ahead and, and get started. So I have began begun whatever uh, zoning a little bit uh, right uh, right over here so we're gonna complete that out and I have no idea what in the world is going on with that little square there huh interesting whatever we are gonna zone that and leave it that'll take care of that uh, residential demand that we have coming in let's see if we are missing anything else over here I didn't really pay too much attention so we don't have any coverage for um, for hospital I, I wonder if we were to add a road right in there would that increase let's put the game on three speed and just see because I know we have hospital coverage we do, but not enough. So on this little main street here, we're gonna put a hospital or a, or a clinic to be more precise. Police coverage is decent, but we could use another one right in there. And then fire department is non-existent. So we're gonna put one right there and that'll make all these folks over here happy and uh, let them level up. Let's see, I don't really wanna focus too much on on satisfying the demand or not the demand but the services at this time I want to I want to get into filling in the um, the area so let's let's start I think we should start over here so we have the road with uh, with grass And auto save is done. So let's let's kind of keep the uh, the curves going. We can come up to here, maybe connect back down here, and then do a little bit more of the natural 
road on design just like so we'll leave a little bit of a, a little bit of room in between so we can add in these uh, these beautiful trees maybe the street that ends right there or has a branch that comes off to to about there I think should be fine uh, let's see maybe we utilize that room right there as well and we'll fill this in right here with the trees to avoid um, to avoid noise and how I think we should stop right here so if we put in some trees and whatnot right over here the folks living here won't be able to see the garbage processing facilities on the other side so we've got the road layout there over here I was toying around not too long ago and we can sneak a road under this bridge believe it or not so we're gonna do that but maybe not that road maybe we'll go with the regular road and I want to fill this in with uh, with some commercial the reason I say commercial is because train tracks are loud so is the baseball field right there and not a very suitable area for a living per se so me being a decent mayor and everything I take those kinds of things into consideration so I'm gonna do that there we're gonna make sure we turn out the traffic lights right away we're gonna turn out the traffic lights right away there as well that way we avoid any kind of congestion which will increase since we are going to be zoning commercial here and let's see if we can make that a decent zone we can uh, over here what we're gonna do to give these folks a uh, an easier way to cross that is pretty darn steep but will fit and we'll come to come on okay so maybe we start from here there we go wow that is pretty darn steep hmm, maybe we rework on that a little bit later oh i see okay the terrain right there makes it uh, makes it <clears throat> way steeper than it uh, than it needs to be so we'll we'll work on that a little bit later let's make sure we have a water pipes running all over here so once we do start zoning we don't run into that issue we'll go to there and there can we branch off of here i think we can maybe we branch off of here instead and you see how the uh, the commercial demand is going up so that means we're low on commercial and a good a good time to be building more uh, commercial zoning so we'll leave that just like that and let's see where can we transfer power from the easiest I think right there I think right there let's see if anything zones there right away I think to incentivize these folks from zoning here what we can do is add a plaza right there and maybe even if it'll fit i know it'll fit on this side but terrain is not gonna gonna play with us well not the best terrain there either but it works and we are good what about power we're good so everything has transferred and i am thinking that we do this this and this in the european high density all the rest of the stuff as lower density uh we can move higher density here here and here and and go with some more lower density kind of like so and i don't really want to zone anything in there maybe just a small patch right there so once that builds up we'll take a look and see 
if we need to make any improvements everything else is doing okay over here let me just get the uh, water pipes done real quick and i'll be right back all right so i've put the water pipes in and then i've added the uh, the trees as well so now as i mentioned before if you're living somewhere over here you look to the mountains and you cannot see the garbage processing services wow that's a lot of planes circling right there i guess this airport's starting to get busier and busier so is this road look at that let's make sure we're not we are having a congestion what in the world and why Could have sworn I just saw a bunch of folks stopping there. Yeah, see, like that guy. Why are you stopping, fella? Keep going. Just keep going. Uh, unfortunately, on console, we can't really mess with that too much. We're at 79%, below 80. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. So it looks like we're having a bunch of congestion right here as well. Let's take a look at that at, uh, at a later date. Let's finish up this uh, this area right here. So currently we don't have any demand for residential or it we do, it's creeping up a little bit. But first I think we need to extend our district to make sure that we get the same kind of zoning on both sides. All right, and I think that we're gonna start with just going up this way and ending this way right here. Now I added this um, this road right here that is for easier access for the garbage facilities. <clears throat> I have no idea what kind of a tickle I have in my throat this morning, but uh, it's not going away. And um, the other reason that I added this road over here is because here we're also going to add fire department we're going to add a small little police station we are also going to add a clinic i thought maybe in here we could try and fit in a school so if it'll let us perfect right there for one school and high school i think is gonna have to go gonna go on the outskirt here Come on, just let us. There we go. Perfect. Right there. We'll add a couple of parks. So that one fit there. Will it fit there? It won't. Definitely not across the street. So we are going to get creative and... I guess we're not getting too creative. But we could. We most definitely could. We can add that right there and add a park across the street or the uh the basketball court so there's that uh elementary school deserves a small little playground right next to it i think that should be fine and then to incentivize folks from uh to move in here We're gonna do that and get rid of those little tinies and hopefully hopefully that will transfer power to this side here and you know what would be kind of cool just add a couple of little shops over here nothing too uh too fancy there we go a few small markets And then over here, put in some trees. Tiny little neighborhood market, maybe a King Supers, a Safeway. Uh, definitely not a Costco. Costco is going to be uh, way too big for that. But um, that should uh, that should work, I think, for right now. 
we are going to run a power line just like so just to give them power for now because residential demand is not very high and i don't foresee it coming through in the near near future so we'll leave that just the way it is now let's come back and take a look at this area right here it is still building up very good very good and we whoa what is going on here not enough workers well folks we're bringing more uh more workers in here so just be patient with us and uh we'll bring them in now for the additional uh little bit of industry demand that we have i'm gonna add some some of these offices right here and also fill in this area right here And what did we say? Stop right there. There we go. Uh, this right here could use a little bit as well. And this is still flooding for whatever reason. But it doesn't look like it's uh, it's affecting anything. So let's see. We started the episode with 84,500. We're at 87,500 right now. So that's a nice little uh, 3,000 gain. But our industry is still suffering from not enough workers so hopefully that uh that gain in in residential fixes that uh that immediate problem here shortly now this area is coming along very nicely i like that we have the uh the little river uh thingy here Ooh, you know what actually maybe not people can walk can they walk on that bridge? I don't think they can walk on that bridge, can they? I don't see anybody walking. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and add a little pathway. And just like so. Can we go up one? We can go over and come down through through there to give us a little bit of an access we have a pathway over here which seems to be uh, being used a good amount and all right let's take a look at our traffic we're back over 80 percent this right here is backing up because these bozos are turning around so I am thinking that a turnaround point should be if we can make it work it's not gonna work there okay what come on I've done this before hmm <laughs> What if, and I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Okay, what if we do that? Let's see, we'll give it a little bit. Yeah, because these guys definitely need to uh, need to start moving and... See, like this truck right here. What are you doing, guy? Come on, I just gave you a perfect turnaround opportunity right there. But all in all, it's it's a little better. I don't I don't know if it's anything that uh, that we did here, but wow, look at all these airplanes! Holy moly! They are all just waiting for these guys to get out of the way. And why, why? What's he waiting for? What's he waiting for? And what's he waiting for? Come on, guys. Let's see what's going on here. See, they're all stuck. They're all stuck now. 
Nobody's going anywhere. Why? I think you need to despawn. I wish there was a way that I could despawn you. Hmm. So if the cargo airport is that busy, how busy is the cargo train? Let's see. This one just came from there. That's 100% full. Man, we are exporting a big chunk of everything that we have going on. And this stuff, I mean, it's just not going away until one of these guys despawns. I think this guy right here is the problem because he's supposed to come out this way and take off. And he's not doing it. Okay, I guess we'll we'll come back to that. But this is this is just like birds. Oh, something despawned. Did you see that? Unfortunately, this guy didn't. And this guy has nowhere to go. This why can't uh, can't come through. This guy's coming in now. He's going to create an even bigger traffic jam here. Yep. So I think we, we come back to this and, and see what happens here. I mean, this airport here is doing just fine. This fellow's going to land and get, uh, get the cargo off. There's one more. So I, I don't know if I should just maybe demolish this and put it in a new one or or what so we'll see we'll give that we'll give that a couple minutes and we are having a death wave do we have coverage we do we're doing pretty good death wave there as well a couple of dead bodies there but overall overall good so we're good we have we have plenty of coverage and we're about to get a little bit more there we go. And that commercial demand. Man, that is not going away. I am wondering if we put in a little bit of commercial just right here. And maybe a little bit. Right there. And then instead of congesting the area with commercial, we do some offices right there. See how that uh, how that helps us out if it does. And yep, I am ready to pull the trigger on this. So get rid of that. Cargo is this that this isn't it, right? No, that's airport. Cargo airport. There it is. So we're going to put it right back right there. So they got rid of all those planes. And here's this guy again. Like, what in the world are you? Oh, he's waiting for him to land. Never mind. Smart guy, smart guy. So we'll see. We'll see if that makes any any kind of a substantial difference there. Maybe just moving it a little bit to the right could uh, could have helped. I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't played around too much with uh, with cargo airports. But overall, we're we're doing pretty uh pretty darn good so we're filling in these uh these gaps uh yeah this is coming in uh coming in nicely not as many abandoned buildings here and that as as we had before and just airplanes everywhere i wonder how many people 828 wow that's one of the highest numbers I've seen. 828, right? Yeah. Yep. But yeah, look look at all of the airplane action. And are we doing anything here yet? No, but the traffic went down, which is good. 79% though. All right, so let's tackle this uh, trouble area again. I don't even think that I have any ideas for it.
Yeah, nope, nothing, uh, nothing comes to mind, really. Unless, 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 I don't know if this is going to work. Let's, uh, let's take a look and see. Unless we give these guys an additional exit and yeah, that's pretty darn close. But I don't know. Let's try it. A lot of times this game is just a bunch of... Oh, nope, we won't be able to do that. Mm -mm. I was going to say it's a bunch of trial and error. Uh, where else? Where else can we put in a connection that's not going to disturb us too much? I mean, you can see that a lot of these cars are coming out this way. So... Hmm... <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Turn off traffic lights and get rid of the stop sign. Everybody come at the same time and let's see how much damage we can uh, we can do with that. Let's see if that helps us any over here. I mean, it's, it's surely getting this to, to move along a little bit more. But then we get stuff like this, right? Like these guys. Like, come on, people. Unbelievable. Well, we'll see. We'll let uh, we'll let that run, and maybe that that helps us out over here. And see, like these idiots right here. Like, what are you doing? You have two lanes to get off out this way. <laughs> City skylines traffic, man. It'll 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 get the best of you sometimes and the worst of you sometimes and you're just sitting there like man i wish i was i was one of the drivers in this city just go over there and and teach them on what to do and how to do it and i didn't even notice this this whole episode but this right here is more than likely going to need to be reworked as well and what if we go Straight there with one lane. See if that helps us out a little bit. Maybe. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that'll make it a little bit better. It's certainly moving a little bit more. Eighty-one percent. We're getting eighty-two. Getting better. Getting better. But all right, guys. I think I think we're gonna leave it there. I know it wasn't uh, the most interesting episode, but we filled in some gaps. That's what I'm gonna call this uh, this episode: filling in the gaps. Um, we'll zone the rest of this here. Why don't we just do it right now before we go? We'll go medium. There it is. Actually, large. Let's just get everybody moved in over here. There we go. We'll go out to there. I'm going to get a, a medium one. Go through there. Go back down to the small one and get rid of that. And we can fill this in too. To that point. So there we have that. That should uh, get filled in. We filled this area in. Now all we got to do is, is just get some uh, 
some decor going on over here right some trees foliage maybe a park or a plaza or two something like that to kind of beautify the area just a little bit and uh we'll leave that alone uh this has pretty much all filled in already so a little bit of trees and foliage there's anybody using this pathway a couple of people and that's okay uh let's see this pathway over here this is new a couple of people using this too that's fine Traffic over here is not doing much. Well, actually it is. It is, it is, it is. Look. Look, that cleared up. 81% though. So it went down a percent. And this is still red. So I think maybe in between episodes, I'll, I'll take a look and see if we can do anything, anything at all different here. I mean... Uh, if we upgrade you back to two lanes, what happens here? Nothing. Nothing. Still the same congestion that we're having. But, alright, we're at 90,000 population. I think we're doing good so far. The city is looking wonderful. I'm a big fan of this little um, industrial area over here. I think that looks uh, that looks nice. We're, we're definitely keeping that. I like this area over here too. It looks pretty nice and natural and or organic. Um, amusement park over here as well. Man, I think, uh, I think this is probably the heart of, uh, of the city right here. Yeah, this area. Look, it looks almost like something out of a uh, out of a movie. Somewhere in uh, Orange County, California, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think we're doing good. I don't know how many more episodes we have until we finish uh, finish this uh, this city. I do have a couple of ideas for the next series, uh, but we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. As always, be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I will see you guys on the next one.